Hello and welcome. Yesterday, both the European currency and the British pound extended losses against the US dollar. Indeed, the beginning of the month was fairly quiet, but the downtrend resumed. Constraints thwarting global economic growth keep getting worse. World economies are tipping into a recession. For instance, analysts predict that the United States has a 40% chance of entering a recession in 2023. Britain and the European Union economies are experiencing serious problems. The rising cost of living is turned out a thorny political issue and will continue to have an impact on economic growth. Thus, the euro sank despite yesterday's avid report on the euro area services sector activity. The pound sterling also slid, although Britain's composite and services purchasing managers indices showed just a slight slowdown by topped analyst estimates. This means that there were no fundamental factors dragging the euro and the British sterling down. However, expectations of on upcoming interest rate hike by the US Federal Reserve supported the greenback, thus putting pressure on other currencies. In the face of the ongoing crisis, the US dollar is regarded as a safe haven asset. Today's macroeconomic calendar includes Germany's factory orders and Britain's construction PMI. The focus of market participants will be on Eurozone retail sales data for May. The volume of retail sales is anticipated to raise by 0.4% compared to a 1.3% decline a month earlier. If the reading turns out to be worse than expected, the euro will go down further, heading for new annual lows. Besides, Traders may take notice of EU economic focus. If the outlook is more negative than traders expected, these will exert additional downward pressure on the European currency, which is already extremely overbought. Furthermore, members of the Bank of England and the US Federal Reserve are set to speak today. In the second half of the day, market players should pay attention to the U.S. Composite and Services PMIs. If the indicators rise, the U.S. dollar will continue its bullish run. In addition, the Fed will release minutes from its last monetary policy meeting. This report will also be in the focus of traders. From a technical point of view, the hourly trading chart shows that the level of 1.0236 acts as the nearest support. A false breakout at this mark will create a buy signal. The MACC MAICD indicator points to oversold conditions. This means that a drop below yesterday's low, a return and a return to 1.0236 will make it possible to open long positions counting on the correction to 1.0285. If the price consolidates above this level and tests it from the top down, the euro will have a chance of gaining strong upside momentum and reach 1.0341. At this level, I recommend going short on the rebound with a view to catching an intraday correction of 30-35 pips. The most likely scenario suggests a false breakout at 1.0285, a strong sell signal will come. Alternatively, the price may fix below 1.0236 and test it from the bottom up amid bulls subdued trading activity. In this case, the euro will face another sell off and slide to 1.0194, 1.0. 61 and 1.0119. At the level of 1.0119, it will be possible to go long on a rebound, and the marks of 1.0194 and 1.0161 long positions can be considered only a false breakout. As the British pound, bulls need to protect 1.1908. 
if the price forms a false breakout at this level following a fall below yesterday's low and return to this mark, the volume of long positions will increase. Thus, the pound sterling will advance to 1.1968. Its top-down test will result in a, an advance to 1.2018 and probably 1.2018. 72. At the level of 1.2072, I think it will be a wise decision to sell the pair on rebound. Short positions at 1.1968 and 1.2018 can be considered only in the event of a false breakout. If bears are able to take control of 1.1908, a breakout and a reverse test of this area will create a strong sell signal. In this case, the pound dollar pair will tumble to 1.1859 and 1.1816. Then the pair is likely to attempt to break below the 2020 lows. At these levels, purchases with a view to a correction to 1.1908 will be relevant only amid a false breakout. Alternatively, it will be possible to go long at 1.1816. Counting on the intraday correction of 2025 pips, long positions on the rebound in this case are too risky. Good luck.